Deer Creek International Business Solutions. How can I help you? I am ready. Well, that's great, Ladybug. Ladybug? A new operational name. Oh, I see what you're doing. Ladybug's supposed to be lucky. Ha. You don't have bad luck. Really? David, how are you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Congratulations on Bullet Train. Thank you. I have to say, I think it's a perfect example of a Friday night movie. Yes. You know, where you're just like, I'm just gonna put that on because I know I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah. It's, it's, it reminds me of like the old school 90s kind of Con Air face off, the, the epitome of Friday night movies. Yes. For you, and you can't say Bullet Train, yeah. what is your ultimate Friday night kind of action movie you're gonna put this on and have a good time? I think the quintessential one is, you know, the most, in Impactful one on you know I, my early years was Die Hard. Oh yeah. You know this this great sort of relatable character in, inside of it all, and sort of the self-deprecating humor of um, John McClane. Um, you just root for him instantly. You know he's, he's just sort of like a heightened every man who we could all see ourselves in. And um, yeah, I love that character, and I just love that movie. As I was watching this, uh, the further I got into it and the more extreme and over the top the action sequences became, I was so kind of, such a strong emotion. I was like, we need to get an Oscar category for stunt performers or stunt uh, yeah. coordinators and stuff like that. Like, the stuff in this is, is, is bonkers. Just seeing <laughs> it, I was like, Those, these people are being bodied every two minutes. <laughs> Was there a particular stunt in this, like the, the epitome stunt in this, where you're like, right, we need all hands on deck because this is, this is a big one? I think probably the flying out of the train doors, you know, with the guys in the wide shot. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff in this movie ends up looking great, and it's because we have a seasoned team and stuff, and, um, you know, and... Um, I, so I never really felt like, oh my God, we're you know we're doing the craziest stuff. But I think you know because we shot it all on a soundstage at Sony during the pandemic, it was this hybrid of visual effects and stunts that I hadn't done mo as much in the past. Mm -hmm. So I was doing stuff really fun with virtual technology that I hadn't done. And so like that that scene in particular, like you know we have big LED wall projecting the train moving, and like we're ratcheting these guys out on wires. And yes, it's a hard knock on these guys. Like they're coming out super fast. Um, but it looks so much more frenetic because of the, I think the way we got to shoot it because of the constraints, you know? And so um, sometimes it's problem opportunity like that. So it challenged us to do really cool things, inventive things. Yeah, like there was every few minutes I felt my body react on, oh, like just <laughs> seeing, seeing some of them like landing in particular ways, I was like, good Lord. Uh, and obviously everyone in, involved is like their game for this yes. because, because everyone looks like they're having a blast in yes. their roles. Yeah and everyone's cast spectacularly well. But I have to ask about Bad Bunny, because was it, not, not a risk per se, because he is a different level of famous in his own yep. sphere, but bringing him in with not really, I guess people wouldn't have much of a, an idea of whether he could act or not. Yeah, oh, so you know, it, was a, it was a really smart call by Kelly McCormick, my creative producer and partner in 87 North. And she was like, we were looking at, you know, the the a, a great list of uh, Latin actors and um, but we were trying to just find this movie so bold we were trying to find the fresh idea and um, she said I think this I have this idea for Bad Bunny and I'm like I'm a Bad Bunny and I obviously I didn't know but she knew she's my wife I should know her musical tastes but she's like no Bad Bunny I'm like Bad Bunny okay um, he's been doing some acting on Narcos and we you know and um, He's re really interesting. So we got a hold of him. We got a Zoom with him and pitched him the idea. And what I liked about it is the wolf was going to be before this grizzled old guy who was at the end of his career and had lost the love that he'd been with forever. Mm -hmm. And I saw Bad Bunny and I thought, no, it's new love and it's passionate and it's, um, it's fresh faced and it's like it's first love and he's going to have lost that. And it just made total sense. And um, He's such a performer. He came to it naturally. He trained his ass off for the fights, and he's such a pro. Um, it was the best call, one of the best calls we made in the film. I love him. He was fantastic, isn't he? Yeah. Fantastic. David, thank you so much for your time today. Cool. Thank you. We need to come up with a plan. I'm going to hurt people. What's happening to your face? Maybe there was a little head trauma? Maybe. I gotta get off this train.